Who says Bible study has to be hard work? You shouldn't have to struggle to get a clear vision of what God says to his people. Glean the best of God's promises for you. The Strand Study Bible gives you the best access to the meaning of God's Word. No other Bible compares in its ability to crack the code of God's Word in your life. This is the Bible in its entirety, with helpful resources that help you appreciate that God's Word is not some archaic book. Its principles and teachings are still applicable to today's world. You can confidently know what the Bible says for yourself. Own it today, and if you're not amazed by its ability to present God's Word with clarity, return it for a full refund. So just how does over 30,000 hours of research become one of the most comprehensive study Bibles ever produced? Pastor Brad Strand dedicated the last 30 years to ensuring the accuracy and detail of this incredible study Bible. This has been a lifelong work for him, and it's his passion for detail and precision that makes the Strand Study Bible so complete. My whole goal to begin with when I first got saved and, and went to Bible college was to learn how to live. Not live to learn, but learn to live. And I knew the Bible had the answer. Well, first of all, the reason for the Bible is to tell you who God is. All three persons love the human being. All three persons have a vested interest. And I think that uh, in a lot of uh, religion and, is, and even in some Christianity, they don't get that. To be able to actually see the places that uh, Samson lived and died in and the places where Jesus walked and, and Moses preached and uh, John the uh, Beloved wrote the book of Revelation on the island of Patmos. These are all real places. The reason you need to own a strand study Bible is uh, because it's going to help you as a Christian to uh, mature. That's the goal of uh, God in every one of our lives, uh, not, not just to get saved, but to make a difference in the world in which you live as a Christian. I think a lot of the reference Bibles out there make it hard for people to really understand who God is and make it hard to understand the Bible. If you make the Bible simple enough, then uh, people will read it. And that's the key, getting people in the book to read it. God has power in His Word. Making God's Word simple to read. Some think that's a difficult concept, but that's exactly what happens when you use the Strand Study Bible. God's Word is easy to understand, and Bible study isn't a chore. Let me prove it to you. Would you believe that people we met on the street could compete with seminary students in the area of Bible knowledge? Well, we gave the Strand Study Bible to each of these people and asked them the same set of questions that we posed earlier to Bible seminary students. Well, let's see who got the highest score. Uh, you look like a Job expert. No, I'm going to say I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, what if I were to give you some help? You up for a quiz then? Like if it's an open book quiz? Uh, yeah. How do you feel about your Job knowledge? Um, so-so. <laughs> All right. All the answers to these questions are going to be on that page. On this page? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. okay. So, first question. There's three questions. First question is, when did Job live? Do you know? I don't know. I couldn't tell you that. No. Right. Um, when did Job live? Let's see. Right here. Job lived after the death of Joseph, 1625 BC. That's absolutely correct. I want to say like 1600 BC. I think that's right. When did Job live? Let's say 600 BC. Okay. It says Job lived after the death of Joseph around 1632 BC. Okay. Did you know that before? No. But can you tell me which one of Job's friends spoke up for God? Oh, um, I. Abinadab, I don't know. Yes, it is right here. Elihu? Gosh, there were like three of them. Eliphaz? I think. Elihu? Um, he said he spoke up, spoke up about God. The last question is a two-parter. OK. How many times was Job quoted in the New Testament and in which book? OK, I think I just had a test on that. Um, I think it was only one. Yeah, I'm going to go with one. Right. Which book? Oh, which book? Um, I think Jesus is the one who quoted him. I'm going to go with Matthew. 
Um, it says Job is quoted in the New Testament one time in 1 Corinthians 3.19. Again, I'm guessing, I'll say 47. And it's um, Ephesians and Peter, 1 Peter. Okay, let's see. Oh, right here, Job is quoted in the New Testament one time in 1 Corinthians 3.19. What would you say if I told you that I asked someone else earlier today all three of those questions and I got every single one of them right? I'd say they're probably in seminary and they're doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say they must be pretty smart, must have a doctorate at least. They had a tool like this. It's called the Strand Study Bible. Hmm. Here, take a look at it. All right, it's huge. <laughs> all right. Seems like it has a lot in. And it's... I feel like that it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's it's all right here, and it's very easy to find. It's very well organized. Okay. Is this some, some information you think you could have gotten in your Bible at home? Maybe, but it would have taken me a long time to do it. How do you think you'd have done on the quiz without, without this Bible here? I would have done horrible. How would you feel if I gave you that same quiz, but you had that? Well, I would ace it completely. I mean, it's all right there. 